All right, so I'm going to use version 23, which kind of just um, made back into like version 16, which is the one that I've done the best with. So I've made the deck the exact same pretty much, except I traded a Chromatic Ori for Oblivion Stone. And I'm running this version because I know that it just works. Close this leaf thing out. I might not end up entering the last deck I played for some odd reason. Alright, let's see. I am going to, at this point, just start a league. Version 23, make sure that's the one that I have. Yep. Alright, so this is pretty much a deck that I just know at this point. So, let's see how we do. Granted, I have some pretty big plans today, so I don't have all the time in the world. But I, I'm doing laundry right now, so I figured... I'm waiting for laundry, I can just hop on and play some magic. Okay, alright, let's go ahead and get this started. Alright, hit the opponent with the good luck, have fun. Alright, this hand not getting to Tron on turn 3, definitely a mulligan. This hand not getting drawn on turn 3, also a mulligan. Mm. Uh, this hand is also a mulligan. And this one is just a serum powder. Let's put that back. That back, that back. Uh, let's put a 7 scram back as well. Well, again, that hand has a bad hand starting out here, but we'll get there. I'll keep two of these. That back, that back, that back. Okay, so in this game, basically, I'm just not going to expect to get doubling season because I've exiled one copy with serum powder, and the other two copies were put on the bottom of my deck, so I have to play as if I'm not doing the whole doubling season planeswalker thing, which is not a problem. Not impossible with this deck. Okay. I think opponent might be playing... At first glance, Helioid combo, but I don't think they run that land. Okay, looks more like... Eldrazi. Mattery Shaper. And Razi Displacer. Okay, okay, okay. All is dust. So I need to get all of dust out of my deck because if they're running Eldrazi's, all is dust is basically a dead card. Alright, well, that. Definitely gonna choose card here. Man, this is such a bad position to be in. Like, against some other decks, I would see all the dust and be like, yeah, I have a way out. Alright, let's see. The only thing... That's... Uh, seven... Seven... I'm taking 14 damage over the course of the next two turns. If he plays Reality Smasher, I'm just dead next turn. Skyclave Apparition, okay. Alright, I just got set back too much. There's just no way I can recover from this. But, let's see, 7 damage this turn. Puts me at 9. And then he could deal 9 damage next turn. So there's just no way I can come back quick enough from this. Unless maybe I... Let's see what the top card was. Yeah. I wouldn't have gotten there. I 
I know most of the time I typically just let the opponent play it out and whatnot, but... Seeming as though I'm not with an infinite amount of time today, I'm just gonna go tr through and play these pretty quickly. Alright, so all is dust or dead cards. I can put Worm Coil Engine in, Golos in, another Karn in. Torpo Orf is also just great. Alright, but Torpo Orf is great. Now, let's put Old Stone in instead. Alright, and Snaring Bridge, Trinosphere, Sorcery, Scrap, Tickets Gage, Torn Mod Scourge. I do not see very many things here that I could switch out. I know I need to go down on one card. And I think what I will go down on is... Obviously, these pieces just come off extremely nicely. I think I'll just put O-Stone back on the sideboard. And just go with that. Serum with doubling season was scary. Bad news equals no payoffs. Okay, let's keep this hand. Nope. I'm just going to go ahead and power in this hand. Reason it's a fresh 7 cards. Can't beat a fresh, completely new 7 cards. I'll go ahead and keep this hand. Alright, so we do have Golos. What we're going to try to do here is run on turn 3 Golos. Also get these two Chromatic Spheres out. Some additional card draw on the turns after that. My opponent might be playing Collector Ufi. Hmm. Honestly, when I sideboarded, it, I didn't even really take into consideration what my opponent could play against me. But let's see, if I had, what would I have taken into, what would I have done differently? Okay, let's see, I have a mine tower, let's get a power plant. One of the two remaining in the deck, because I exiled two of them. Okay. I would have put Walking Ballista and Sundering Titan in. Walking Ballista, Sundering Titan, those are two creatures, so... And... Wait, Walking Ballista, Sundering Titan, and Silent Arbiter. Three creatures that I could have possibly put in, but the issue is, those creatures do not win the game. Walking Ballista, eh, it could be argued for, but... Ultimately, it does not win the game by itself. More like something that stalls the opponent. Stoneforge, okay. Is he getting... He should see that I'm on Tron already. Sword of Fire, nice. Okay, let's see. Draw a card. Okay, I drew into Ugin, which means that... Not this turn, but the turn after I can just go ahead and... Jam Ugin to exile everything. So kind of ignoring my initial line there of playing Golos because I drew into Karn. And I think Karn into Ugin is just for the best. But first let's get this exiled. That way we can almost guarantee we keep Karn alive next turn. Almost. If Khan stays alive when Ugin hits the field, I'm pretty sure that's game. Ouch. Okay, so he's attacking for two. Does he play another one? Andrazi Displacer. Okay, so no attacks. Alright, so let's exile that. Put this out there. Eight. Let's go ahead and exile everything. Let's go ahead and tap that and put these two out. At this point in time, opponent 
should feel like the field is getting just freaking stacked on my end. Yep. I'm not gonna say a good game though, because obviously the game went extremely well in my favor there. Alright, so only thing I could really switch out is Walking Ballista, but I don't really feel like it. Because if it stays on the sideboard, it just means that I have one more potential option. Uh, opponent also did not see any spice that this deck brings yet. It's kind of sad in a way, but hey, sometimes you don't need the spice to win. Alright, so Collector Ufi. If I'm playing around that card, I would need to take out some pieces of Tron. I mean, some of these pieces. There we go. Opponent's a good game. Pretty awesome. Mm, Alright, let's see. Guess I'll just go ahead and run it back. Because there's no cheaper things that I could put into my deck. I guess O-Stone. When I'm on the draw, I can put O-Stone in and take... Oof. What do I take out? Today's Architect of Thought, because I took Emrakul out. That sounds like a decent-ish trade. Okay, looks like we're getting drawn on turn 3 here. I'll definitely keep this hand. Right now I'm looking like Iron Liberated turn 3. Cascading, Cataract Sand, Ancient Stirrings turn 4. Okay, now I have both cards, so I have options for turn number 3. Quite honestly, Torpor Orf might be the play here. If I, yep, Torpor Orf. Talisman of Unity. Okay, so. I guess I should start fetching on my opponent's turn, but. Yeah, I'm just lazy. I kind of just want to skip through it and not have to worry about doing things on that last turn. Alright, let's see who went live on Twitch. No. Oh. oh, man. Damping Sphere. Okay, yeah, I should have definitely not fetched it. Because I could have went ahead and fetched Blast Zone. Okay, alright, so that's me being lazy there. Slightly punished for it, but eh, we'll get through it. Okay, let's go ahead and sack that. Serum powder, okay. Well, not, he's probably taking Crying Great Creator.
Okay, opponent. You are our heads because of the damping spinner a little bit. He has three cards left in hand, so for me, I think. Next turn, land for sure, serum powder. Alright, land for sure, serum powder. That's three, four, five, six, seven. So over the course of the next two turns, if I'm not dead, I'll be able to play Karn Liberated. Unless they play another Thought Not Seer. Or a reality smasher. Skyclave operation, so he's just trying to keep me off of having more mana. Which totally makes sense. The good thing is I don't think he's playing anything else this turn, which is awesome. Alright, let's get another land out there. Or maybe I should wait it on that land play. Just in case. Oh yeah. I should have waited on that land play because I could get blast zone this turn. And I've played it, but I think I would not have been able to update Blast Zone anyways. So Blast Zone would have been a sitting duck. And the good thing though is we're still going up on lands pretty easily here. Okay, getting Karn Grey Creator, but I am fairly certain I cannot play it. I've casted one spell this turn. Yeah, I have to pay five for Karn right now. Alright, let's go ahead and do seven scrying and get Blast Zone. No, so that's two, four, five, six, seven. I also, since he played the Skyclave Apparition, I'm pretty sure he has another one in hand. I'm all up Skyclave, so an extra two damage. So I'm getting dealt eight damage this turn. Ouch. Okay, how do I survive? Hmm. There's just no way I survived. So, definitely was punished there earlier on in the game for playing Damping Sphere earlier. Hmm. Unfortunate. But, GG's. But yeah. Fetching on on your Trimmer's opponent's turn definitely has some drawbacks to it. Yeah, see he had Skyclave Evaporation and Path to Exile. I can respect it. Opponent there played extremely well. Alright, I gotta switch my laundry over. I will be back. 